based on her paying me. I have to get a fixed salary. So that's why a lot of brokers don't do what's called borrower paid compensation. That means you have two rate sheets. You have the old fashioned rate sheets called borrower paid compensation and you have the new ones called lender paid compensation. Okay, does that make sense? Now, I have to add my margin to the lender paid compensation. So if I worked out with Wells Fargo and I worked out at 1%, I am now an add-on to the borrower. Okay, I am now an add-on that's gonna get paid. So the comp compensation is permitted from the borrower's existing funds if I am able to get paid, but again, we don't do this because it requires a salary. Um, and again, I can't compensate based on loan terms. Whether well, a type of loan, government, conventional, for a short period, um, some lenders were saying, well, if the borrower is buying investment property, that's one exception. But then Wells Fargo and the big boys, Bank of America, said no. We're still going to have to do it the, the same way, which is a fixed fee per loan. Uh, there's new anti-steering provisions. So basically, the borrower will actually certify that they have adequate time to shop for the loan. Okay, What that means, I haven't experienced it yet, but what that means, technically, the borrower could, you could be ready for docs, and the borrower can say, hey, wait a minute. I shot this loan, and I found it cheaper somewhere else, and you have to honor that. So <coughs> it's a very, very extreme um, ruling, but you know it's it's tough. I can pay based on volume performance. I can have different loan tiers. I can pay based on quality of loan files, pull through. Um, so we're talking about incentives. Where let's say we do a lot of business with Wells Fargo, they say, oh, you guys did really good volume this quarter, no defaults, all your loans went through. They can give us an incentive and that's allowed. Um, but I cannot pay specific terms to the comp for different borrowers. Now here's the problem that we've encountered. I don't know if you guys have encountered this. If you've got a really small loan, um, Jeanette, what's, what's a small loan? 77000 <laughs> If you have a really small loan and you've got a fixed compensation agreement with the Wells Fargo, let's say 2%, <coughs> guess what? Because of another rule called Section 32, you can't even do the loan because your fixed compensation is now still compensation, but it's above the limit. They put a cap on it. So um, the workaround that we have is the, on the banking side, we have agents on different margins. Okay, meaning that if we if she can't do the loan, she'll have to refer it to Mr. Low Price, Low Margin Loan Officer over there that can do it. Does that make sense? Otherwise, we can't do the deal at all. So, um, basically, all compensation from now on is predetermined and fixed. Um, rebate is owned by the customer. The plus side is you can give the customer a rate sheet. They can choose how much closing costs they want to get paid, but you cannot get their closing costs. And you cannot say, well, they're willing to pay me, they're willing, I want, my customer, they don't know nothing. I want to get two points on this customer. I know I can. You can't do that anymore. So, again, to summarize, the customer can pay me, but I have to get a salary from my employer. And most likely my employer cannot bonus me because that customer paid me. Or I can simply have a fixed plan with my <coughs> lender, and they can basically choose whatever rebate they want. So that's kind of the thing now. You should now see some lender credits on your closing statements because the customer can choose a little bit higher rate to get an extra rebate that goes to them. Does that make sense? So you actually can see the uh, rate sheet? They can actually see the rate sheet. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a customer and I come to you and I know I need, say, two points mm -hmm. for closing, yes. I can look at your rate sheet, select that two points for closing, and I do not have to ask the seller for it. I get from you as a, a form of a rebate. Absolutely. Because it's not, it's not even mine anymore. Right. That's it's yours. Exactly. Okay. So now, in terms of shopping, let me tell you because you asked that question, which is a very good question. Um, can I offer you a lower rate then? Can you shop me? Let's say you go to her. Yes. And then she offers a lower rate. Can I try to beat it? Yes. That's the question. And the answer is no. I can't. You can't. Because I can't favor you versus him for the loan. So I can't give you a discount versus him. What I can do is I can compete on fees. So basically there's a pattern that's built in called the flex. And we can actually say, oh, you know what? Her, her uh, total lender fees are about a thousand bucks. Hers are 1200 bucks. 
let's give you a $200 discount towards your fees. And we can justify it because we can mark, we can, uh, but I can't change my margin to accommodate you to beat her. So, but you can match the rate though, right? You said earlier you could, you if choose the rate. stop you, they can match it. You, you, can match it you choose the rate, I can't, I can't match it. No. I'm stuck with whatever margin I have agreed upon. Okay. I can give it to Mario. Maybe Mario's on a lower margin. Sorry, I can't help you, but try Mario. Are you guys still uh, charging lower than anything to each other? What is it like? So with all due respect, what do you think the answer to that question is? No. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is no. Oh, no. That was an example where she can't pay me. No more radiation oh. fees. No more radiation fees. Okay? Where did I get my money from? Wells Fargo. I cut a deal with them in the beginning of the quarter saying now I'm earning 1%. All right, so just so th there's no origination fees whatsoever anymore. No origination fees. Okay. The one exception is if I work for a bank, I'm get paid a salary. Mm -hmm. I can actually have the customer pay an origination fee. I just can't make bonuses and stuff like that on the origination fee. Is that what you mean when you like you're the direct lender, right? That's correct. So you can charge a origination fee. Let's see that. Right. <coughs> a mortgage so bank. bank. We can do that with certain people, but um, our agents, like Jeanette, are based on commission. Okay, but if she was salaried, then she could technically offer a radiation fee charge. But why would the customer choose it when ten other brokers are offering no radiation fee? Right? Any other questions? So how do we make money? <laughs> Thank you for asking that question. Jeanette, do you want to take that? <laughs> How do we make money? Um, we can provide you with lunch. No. <laughs> you make money because you have programs like this that allow you to do more deals. That's it. Our, <laughs> our industry, the loan industry, is very, very tough. I mean, you know, we do the same amount of work for less money, okay? Literally, we have some agents with a margin of three quarters, 0.75, okay, 0.75. But fortunately, um, that agent has a lot of jumbo business. So 0.75 off of a $600,000 loan is pretty aggressive. But, you know, in this area, I wouldn't recommend a small margin because you can't make a, a living doing that. It's volume-based, huh? It's volume-based, exactly.